Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester, giving you a quick video walk around of this 2018 on a 68 plate uh, Vauxhall Vivaro 1.6 CDTI Sportive. This is the top of the range model uh, in the L2 long wheelbase format, H1 roof, so low roof. Uh, one keeper from new, it has 31,000 miles on the clock. Uh, warranted miles, um, come off the lease company. Um, in great all-round conditions. A few minor bits and pieces, sort of wear and tear bits and pieces. I'll point them out to you as we go around, a um, couple of minor touch-ins, maybe a couple of smart repairs, uh, but nothing substantial or major on it, okay? So, let's just get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. Looking up there on the roof, doesn't appear, didn't come in with any roof rack on it or anything like that, so it's all looking straight and tidy up there. Windscreen. Windscreen is all looking pretty good. There are no major stone chips on there that's going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. Coming down onto your bonnet. The bonnet is in great condition. No major stone chipping damage, nothing like that. It's all very good condition. Front of the van as well. All looking pretty good. Your grills, etc. Those are all in good order. Your passenger side front headlamp unit. Uh, that's all good no damage uh, front passenger bumper corner now from this level doesn't look too bad does it uh, we have front fog light coming down here no major scuffs i think we've got something that needs oh it's a bit of polish yeah, there you go a bit of polish that the detail has left on there was me thinking it was a scuff okay so that will come off that's just polish right and then as we look down the side of the vehicle from this angle there are no major dents or dings to point out to you it's all looking pretty straight and tidy. And let's just finish going around the front of the vehicle. Driver's side headlamp unit. That is straight and tidy. And then driver's side front bumper corner again. Now I don't think this one is extra polished. No, it isn't. That is a scuff down there, okay? Yeah, it's kind of right at the low level. I suggest he's probably caught it on a high curb or something. Uh, and there's a touch-in to do there, okay, so touch-in, a little scuff on the black plastic there and a little scuff down there. It's all smart repairable to be fair, um, so I think we should get all of that sorted out on it for you, okay. Looking down the side profile on the driver's side, no major dents or dings or scratches or anything like that to point out to you, but well, let's go by the panel and see what we find, shall we? Um, factory steel wheel with a factory hubcap, you've got an Avon tyre on the front there. That tyre appears to have plenty of tyre tread depth on there. All looking pretty good. Driver's side front wing, side repeat is all good. Coming up here, all looking pretty good. Driver's side door glass, no heavy scratching or anything like that. That's all good. Driver's side door itself, uh, all looking pretty good. I think we might have a touch in. I'll just show you in a second. Let's just show you the mirror unit, upper and lower mirror units, all looking good. Uh, behind your door handle, door handle itself is all looking good. Let's have a look at your door edges. So as we go down the door, looking at your door edges, I think there's a couple of touch ins to do here and here. A little bit of a touch in there, and just a couple of more touch ins down there. And I think that is just dirt there actually so that will come off that bit there so a couple of minor touch-ins to do mid quarter it's all looking pretty good low and mid quarters all looking good if we get down low have a look at your sills your sills are in good order there's no it doesn't appear to be any damage on those at all and your side protective black strips those are all in good condition as well rear quarter upper quarters looking nice and fine and then lower quarter, we do have a little scratch here, okay? A little scratch there. I'm gonna get touch-up stick ordered in this color. And we'll have a go at sort of polishing that and touching it in, try and build it up. I do not think it's worth painting the panel for. Um, it's just a simple touch-in, a little bit of wear and tear, isn't it? Um, rear of the vehicle, factory steel wheel with a factory hubcap. We have a budget tire on there. That tire has plenty of tire tread depth on it. Let me tell you where we are with tyres. Anything less than three millimetres across the tread, we replace with a brand new tyre, okay? And then just looking down the driver's side profile of the vehicle from this angle. This one's just been into the detailer, so 
it's got a lovely polished finish to it lovely gleam to it hasn't it there's a mirror mirror finish there looking at the back end looking at your corners your door hinges the rear light unit itself all looking pretty good is that a, whether that's a scratch or whether that's a crack there doesn't appear to be any water in the unit or whether that's meant to be there even potentially that might need looking at we'll have a look um a couple of touch-ins here on the corner again um the video actually the iphone camera video that i use um highlights stuff um probably more so than you see in with your natural eyesight i don't know why it does that it's slightly infuriating from our point of view however um there are a couple of minor marks there okay that have been touched in your rear fog light unit and reverse lamp unit's all good just getting right down low here he's just caught it on the back end there uh, again i think that one we may well touch up yeah we'll see um see what the smart repairer thinks rear doors the rear doors are barn doors as you can see overall good condition there's a few minor bits of wear and tear on them so we have very very minor little ding there and a couple of really minor sort of marks on the rear doors um some of these yeah just need a bit of touching some of it is dirt um nothing major on there but there are signs little a few few little signs of wear and tear okay i would say nothing that you wouldn't expect to see on a vehicle of this age and miles rear bumper itself again fairly similar to the doors elements of wear and tear on the bumper as you can see you've got factory reverse parking sensors your rear reflectors on each corner of the bumper those are in good condition if i open up the rear of the van so long wheelbase gives you a humongous amount of room doesn't it now this factory bulkhead that you see here um, no major dents or dings in it you do have the opening hatch there which gives you additional load length underneath your passenger seat not sure what all of this malarkey is on there to be quite frankly i think we'll probably end up just removing those for you got a ply lining kit in it the ply lining kit has done a job it's worked but it's not horrific um, but it has done a job we have elements of wear and tear around the side on the on the paintwork there on the inside of the van um, but again nothing major and again on the painted bits on the inner doors and your inner plastics there are signs of wear and tear marks as you can see Um, yeah, it's three years old, it's, it's done a job, hasn't it? Um, light units on the back here. So, plastics up here, and then coming down onto your light units here. All looking pretty good. Again, another little mark or sort of crack there, but it doesn't, again, appear to be showing any white light or letting any water in. A bit weird, those, aren't they? Um, rear bumper corner, all looking pretty good, as is your rear fog light and reverse light and if we just look down the side profile of the van from this angle on the passenger side you can see that it's in great condition no major marks we have ever so slightly a little parking <coughs> ding there i think you blink and you miss it to be quite frank with you there is something there don't know we'll see see if the dead man can do anything with it upper quarter that's all looking good lower quarter uh, there is a scratch okay so there is a mark here um, I think it has gone through the lacquer. Um, we will have a look at it with a smart repair and see what we can do on it. Can't guarantee you can do it. It just depends on the colour and whether we can localise that repair or not. Okay. Your steel wheel and factory hubcap on this side has a hand-cooked tyre fitted to it. That tyre, I believe, also has plenty of tyre tread depth on it. Sliding door rail on this side. That's all looking pretty clean and tidy. All good sliding door itself is in good condition your seals down the bottom here all looking good as are your protective black strips your door handles those are all looking good um, entry seals 
on this side, the step, etc., those are all okay. You know, bulkhead, as I say, no major, you know, it's not battered to death or anything like that. Some of them you can see like massive dents in them. Just another viewpoint of the interior of the van. It's one of those, isn't it? I mean, uh, you know, uh, buy some grey garage floor paint, paint your ply lining kit, and it looks like a new ply lining kit again, doesn't it? Um, passenger door glass is all good. Passenger mirror unit, the odd mark on it, but the unit itself is all secure, and lower and upper mirrors are all good. The door, passenger side, there is a mark on it here. Okay, uh, probably could do the touching. We can get that sorted out on it for you. And then your passenger front wing on this side, that's all looking pretty good. Steel wheel, this side you have a, I think it's probably a budget tire on this one. Our hubcap seen a little bit of action, but not too bad. And your tire tread depth looks all pretty good on it. If we move to the interior of the van. Oh, hang on a second. Let me show you your door edges. Door edges this side again, no major damage, a couple of minor touchings and stuff to do, but nothing major. Door card, passenger side, all looks pretty clean and tidy, doesn't it? Electric window switches, your interior of your door cards, the pockets and everything are good. Your door shuts are looking clean and tidy. Your um, door uh, steps and sills are in good condition as well. Here we have your diesel fuel filler with your add blue filler as well, because this is a Euro 6 van, so that means all your emission zones, it's free. Headlining all looking pretty good. Seats on this side, passenger seats looking clean and tidy. Um, found a box of corner tape in it, eh? Plaster as corner tape, there we go. That's a Brucey bonus, if I was a plasterer. Um, floor is all looking pretty clean and tidy, no excessive wear or tear. Your glove box, again, all good. Top of the dash, dashboard fascia, that's all looking all okay for the year, etc. Additional glove box on there with a sportive. Um, I'll run you around the other side so you can see just down there with your bonnet release. So looking at your bonnet. Hydraulic struts on these Vivaros, you just need to find the opener, which is just to the right of the Vauxhall badge. And then looking at your bonnet, underneath your bonnet, all looking clean and tidy. Uh, brake fluid over there, oh no, brake fluid, power steering, oh, yeah, one of them's a lot of yeah, power steering fluid, brake fluid, brake fluid, power, yeah, it's, yeah, it's all, it's all there where it should be. Batteries under there, fuse box, oil filler. Coolant. Coolant is the correct colour for Vauxhall. There's no contamination in there or anything. To be fair, these engines are all pretty good, to be honest with you. Uh, the 1600 diesel engine. Uh, this is the bi-turbo. Um, I think it's 125 brake horsepower. It has the same power output as the old two litres. Um, pretty damn economical as well. Just put the paper mat in the door. Let's move that out of the way. But your door card, as you can see, Clean and tidy in there. Electric windows and mirrors. Entry points here. Your plastic seals and entry points are all in good condition. As is your driver's side floor. Pedal rubbers. Side of your seats. The seats themselves. All in great condition. Electric windows and electric mirrors there. I don't know whether I mentioned that. We have over here. Parking sensors. Electronic stability program. Headlamp levelers and dashboard illumination lovely little bit of piano black around the vents you've got a cup holder on the top there as well and then you've got this lovely two-tone leather multi-function steering wheel a nice bit of girth on that it's a nice and thick one and let's have a look fire it up um looking at your dashboard so 31,497 miles we have lights on to say that the engine not up to temperature which is your blue temperature light we have your handbrake light on and then we have a light on to tell me that the doors are open. Um, ticks over nicely, no dramas, I've driven it down here, it's all looking pretty clean, uh, it drives really well I should say. Uh, stalk, you have side lights and main lights and then on your inner lights, once for front fog lights and then uh, twice, for, uh, sorry, back that way for your rear fog lights. Um, let's turn all of those off and then on this stalk we have your buttons on the end that run you for your computer system on here which tells you your range and add blue and all of that malarkey and then this stalk is for your wipers 
We have a USB power up there. There's the aerial for the radio, just uh, it's been taken off for transportation purposes. DAB stereo radio with uh, the, um, FM, AM and Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. You've got another USB power there. You've got another 12 volt power there. The all essential air conditioning. We have cruise control and speed limiting. We have stop start technology on it. Eco button makes it slightly less powerful, but more economical. And then your six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear to the left and then forward. And then that engages your reverse parking sensors. Hazard warning lights, central locking, a little bit of a cup holder. Cleanliness wise, look in between your seats. As you can see, we valet these things properly. So they are clean and tidy. There's no old McDonald's on there. Um, toenails, fingernails, dust, and the general horrible stuff that we can find in between the seats. Um, right, so there we go. One owner from new, 31,000 miles. Pretty good all round condition, I would say. Uh, 60 to 70 photos of it are on our website, which is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. Thanks for looking at the video. Hopefully that gives you a really good idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. A couple of minor bits of cosmetics to sort out on it. Um, but if you're interested, give us a call. We can have a chat about it. And most people we find nowadays will have a look at the video, speak to us on the phone, do a deal, and we just get it delivered out to them. Thanks very much. Cheers, bang.